Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Rudy and this is Rude's World, the channel where I run reviews of things that I get a real kick out of, and today is no exception. Today we are reviewing a product called the Chewy Larkbox Pro, and it is a fully functional Windows 10 PC that quite literally fits in the palm of one's hand. Starting at $189, Packed within this little guy are some pretty impressive specs, starting with 6 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage, as well as an Intel Celeron J1425 at the heart of it all, as well as a UHD 600 integrated GPU that helps bolster the claim that Chewy says being the world's smallest uh, mini PC capable of 4K. And uh, we'll definitely give that a test in the demonstrations to follow. But before that, we're gonna jump into a quick unboxing as per usual, as well as an integrated run through of all the detailed specs. And uh, the demonstrations, of course, are gonna include um, seeing how the PC performs under standard Windows 10, navigation, day-to-day -day browser usage, checking emails, as well as some of the more intensive things such as gaming and a well, lot more gaming. So we'll definitely give that a go and stay tuned at the end for the final verdict. Verdict. But as always, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you love it, please give it a sub. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. All right, let's get into it. Okay, everyone, so let's jump into a quick unboxing. Here we have the Chewy Lark Box Pro in a standard packaging some uh, nice vacuum sealed plastic wrap around we'll pause here for a bit and you'll notice that it says it's preloaded with windows 10 which is cool and the fact that there's also an option for it to come with preloaded with linux is interesting since i haven't seen that online but just know that's an option just in case you're in the market for that moving on we'll go ahead and just strip away this plastic wrap All right, now with that cover off, let's see what's inside. You've got some standard black foam with the main event tucked away in there, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Let's start off with what can only be the power adapter or charging cable, one of the two, but here we go. A little bit of a brick situation. Soft cam, sorry about that. It's a USB-C power delivery input. And then tucked away here, once you get rid of this little thingamabob, oop, looks like the VESA mount came off. So just for those who are interested, you do have the ability to mount this um, onto the back of your monitor or anywhere else with VESA mount that comes attached with it. And within this black envelope, you get some paperwork, standard fare, nothing to write home about but here we have the main event the Chewy Lark Box Pro and first impressions on handling it right out of the plastic is that feels sturdy it feels good with that matte black uh, texture around as well as that ventilation on the top as a really nice uh, variance to the overall aesthetic and looks really neat for something so small all right so let's run into some of the key features or specs behind the Chewy Lark Box Pro. Keep in mind what you're seeing is directly from the Chewy website and it's for the older model. So the main difference and the only difference is within the processor where it was using a J4115 with a pri previous model. We're working with a J4125 on the Pro. So everything else is the same. The weight which comes in at 127 grams, the UHD 600 GPU, the RAM and the ROM are the same. We've got that multifunctional interface, which is really the um, micro SD slot, the audio jack, the two USBs that come with the power delivery, as well as the HDMI input port. It's got a cooling, active pure cooling module, whatever that means, supports VESM back hanging function, which means you could just slap it to the back of your monitor, as well as the ability to expand your hard drive space or your internal storage to, I think, a maximum of one terabyte with that M2 SSD slot. And again, due to the small form factor, you have the ability to just really take it anyway. It's portability is the name of the game here. And um, depending on how large or small your pockets, you can definitely go for that. All right. With the specs out of the way, let's take a look at the Chewy Lark Box Pro in action. And this is the very first time that I've booted the machine. 
we're running through the standard Windows 10 introductory configuration settings. Let's speed through it. And while we're waiting on that, it's also worth noting that I've connected my Chewy Lark Box Pro to a four port KVM switch that expands the available USB slots at the back by a total of four. So definitely highly recommend a USB hub in connection with the Lark Box Pro. But anyway, we're looking at system properties here um, just to make sure that everything's in order. Windows 10 navigation seems pretty snappy. Let's go ahead and plug in the Wi-Fi. And we're connected. All right, so the following footage is captured from an HDMI capture card directly from the Chewy Lark Box Pro. So that would explain the terrible resolution because I need a better capture card. But anyway, let's jump into system properties here. Just verify that the uh, everything is up to spec, which it is. As you can tell, the um, overall navigation of the OS is pretty snappy. No complaints thus far. That said, I don't really have much loaded on it just yet. Anyway, pardon the ROMs, but you can see that things are Looking good. All right. Uh, let's just change the wallpaper here, just to give y'all a good sense of how things would look from a configuration standpoint. Overall, I can't really tell that, again, this is all running off a super tiny machine that's quite literally smaller than that of an apple at least most apples all right quick internet speed test wi-fi is going strong and it could probably go faster if i had an ethernet port wired up to this 101 download 99 upload not bad not bad at all check out some browsing amazon and hey why not let's take a look at the chewy lark box pro 189 is it worth it hmm i'll let you all decide My take is pretty functional thus far for lightweight browsing. As you can see, I'm just trying some Google Doc action. Again, I apologize for the contrast. Um, I think it's the capture card, but I assure you the performance that you're seeing before you is uh, indicative of, of the experience that I've had and with normal contrast on my actual screen. Okay, Google Docs works out well. Let's check out some uh, spreadsheet action. And um, ideally I'd test this out on a desktop version with Microsoft Excel or something to that effect. But as you can see, I don't know how intensive this is on the CPU, but uh, it's, it's doing okay for basic tasks. And let's do one final check with Google Slides. If you create presentations or you're in the office and you need to do something real quick, let's see how this works. Okay. Larkbox Pro. Ain't half bad. All right, let's go ahead and test some of that YouTube streaming action and truly figure out whether this thing is capable of 4K. Now keep in mind, the monitor that I'm using and obviously the 4K, uh, sorry, the capture card that I'm using doesn't really capture 4K, but hopefully the performance of attempting to run a video at 4K should give you guys a good sense of 
how this little guy actually runs. So let's check out one of my favorite 4K videos. This Oceanside Verbo is about to become the backdrop for an unforgettable vacation memory. Okay, let's jump straight to some of the better stuff. I will link out to this specific YouTube video clip in the description below. As you can see, it's not half bad. A little bit of stuttering. But we're running this at 4K and at full screen as well. All right, so just tabbing out and switching over to camera view. Again, just to show you guys what this actually looks like with another 4K video. Let's try to bump it up to 8K. Eh, struggling a bit. So let's just keep it at 4K. I don't even have a 4K capable monitor, so doesn't really mean too much to me. We're all not too bad stuff. All right, let's tab over and into gaming. All right, figured I'd start off with something a little bit more lightweight, a classic beat em up. I forget which one this exactly is. It's kind of a King of Fighters. 2000 something or Capcom versus SNK but otherwise it uh, performs really good and then the Larkbox Pro had no problem recognizing my Xbox controller that's hooked up here so pretty pretty decent virtually no issues with this game other than I'm bad at it but that's most games all right let's kick it up a generation or two and see how something like Mario Kart 64 runs. Character selection, pretty good, not bad. To be honest guys, I completely missed out on the whole Nintendo 64, uh, what do you call it, age. I was more of a PlayStation guy. All right pretty good I mean it's tough for me to tell what the original looked like I feel like I only played it with my friends back in the day but it's going pretty good no complaints and again the Xbox controller was recognized immediately absolutely no issues frame rate seems smooth enough if not perfect Again, it's hard to believe this is all running on such a tiny machine. At this point, you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, cool. Impressive that such a small machine can run older emulation games, but how would it fare against more modern games? Well, I guess it really depends on how you use the word modern. I use that term loosely because one of my favorite games of all time is still 10 years old, but I play it on the regular. And that is StarCraft II. And I was very excited to see how the Larkbox Pro would work within this real-time strategy game that I play almost every week. And let's see. Let's see how it stacks up. All right, so no problems thus far. Upon signing in, I think uh, just keep in mind the, the actual graphics settings that I ran this particular footage off of is all based off of low settings. I've yet to try anything at ultra high or just anything beyond low just because that's how I normally even play the game even on even on my main machine just um, when I'm in competitive mode but anyways I digress. Um, let's flash forward to what the game looks like when things get a little bit more intense but as you can see from the beginning pretty standard fare as far as performance is going 
and it's very happy to uh, find that the game worked exactly as it normally does on, on my main machine, which is quite boggling. Anyway, let's let's do some capture card footage just so you guys get a sense of what it looks like actually along with the audio. So here we have a standard battle within the StarCraft 2 game and there's quite a bit going on. A bunch of carriers or spaceship things attacking with a lot of those SUV or worker units also on screen and despite all of this happening and my tremendous defeat it held up fairly well. Tree Lark Box Pro that is. I on the other hand lose this game terribly. But hopefully this is a good demonstration of what the Chewy Lark Box Pro is capable of and if you're looking for the Chewy Lark Box as an alternative to your gaming setup it hasn't disappointed me just yet. Well at least for light gaming that is. I'll probably run another video to test out how this uh, runs for more graphics intensive games. All right, with the demonstrations out of the way, it's final verdict time. For $189, is the Chewy Lark Box Pro worth it? And I would say, just like anything else, it totally depends, but just keep in mind that the Chewy Lark Box Pro has such incredibly small form factor, and you quite simply won't be able to find any other machine that has the same level of output as the Larkbox Pro does at this small of a uh, design and, and form factor. And that being said, you won't be running the most modern of games, the most uh, graphics intensive or uh, CPU intensive applications, but at the very least, you will be able to run day-to-day -day browsing just fine. You'll be able to run streaming just fine. You'll be able to run your Google Suite Office applications just fine. And you certainly will be able to run at least some of those casual, lightweight gamings that I showcased earlier just fine. And couple that with a small form factor, all things considered, overall it is more than just fine. And while I don't think it's going to be replacing many people's machines, Anytime soon, it certainly is more than just a gimmick. The Chewy Lark Box Pro is something that I actually would recommend to anyone who's looking for their first mini PC. All right, so that concludes the video. Thank you all for watching. If you got, if you learned something from this or if you enjoyed this, please give uh, this video a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Um, go ahead and sub to the channel if you want to check out more stuff. I'm trying to produce more content around things that I really enjoy and I get a real kick out of. So it really means a lot to me when you go ahead and give that like button a smash. So anyway, uh, we will see you in the next one. In the meantime, I'll catch you next time. Peace. Chewing. We're home.